Yo, what is up guys, it's the GTA King here, coming at you with a brand new GTA 5 video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to download and install mods on GTA 5 Online for a non-jailbroken console. So this is for the PlayStation 3, and this method will contain around 40 mod menus, so this is a pretty big mod menu. Now you guys ask me a lot for this, so here you go, and this method will work absolutely, but only if you follow my steps correctly. But before I start with today's video, I want to tell you guys that I'm not responsible for when any unlikely things will happen to your PlayStation 3. So first of all, what you want to do is back up your GTA 5 game saves, because you will lose them through this restore. So simply back up your GTA 5 game save on your USB device and put this onto your computer to secure your items. Now to start off you will need a USB device with some decent capacity, so it does need some few gigabytes on it. Now plug the USB into your computer and go down to the description where you can find a link titled download. Now click on that link and you will be taken to this Google Forms page and from there you will need to follow these steps in order to unlock the download link. Now once the links are unlocked you will need to go to the second page and there will be two links. Now there will be one blast link and one blus link. Now the blast link is for the European users and the blus link is for the US users. Now you are able to determine whether your copy of GTA 5 is blast or blus by reading towards the bottom of your spine which is located at the disk case. Now go back into the description and go click the second link which is titled WinRAR. Now you will need to download this program in order to extract the file you will need for the PlayStation 3. Once you've done that, go back to your Blast or Blus link. Now this may take some time, but just be patient for your download. So now download this file and drag and drop it onto your desktop. Now right click on that file and extract it onto your desktop. So once you extracted the file, you will need to drag and drop it into your USB device, which will be on your computer. Now when the extraction part is done, go plug it into your PlayStation 3 and go to your system settings, then over up to backup utility. And after that, press restore. Now accept all of the upcoming screens and after that you will be restoring your GTA 5 PlayStation game data and once that is done restoring, you want to start up GTA 5. Now it will need to download and this may take about 10 to 20 minutes. And once that is done, you have successfully installed mods for your GTA 5 on PlayStation 3. Now you have it online as well as offline. Now I recommend not using it for online as Rockstar can ban your account or even your console from GTA 5 online. Now once you have started up GTA 5, press L1 and L3 to open up the mod menu manager and hold R1 and R3 to open up other menus. Now you can choose between 40 mod menus which already set for this console which is absolutely nice. And I also want to tell you guys that I'm not responsible for when any unlikely things will happen to your console. Now if you want to delete the mod menu, all you need to do is plug your USB back into your computer, put your old game save file on your USB device and put it back into your PlayStation 3. Now go to system settings and then over the backup utility and press restore. Now once it restored, you will no longer have mods on your PlayStation 3. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that blue thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more GTA 5 content. Now this was the GDA King and I am out.